Late Haj Rajabali Mokadam. The late Haj Rajabali Mokadam was born on August 23, 1947, in Torin, Zanjan, Iran. He studied accounting at the university. He was a renowned figure in the area of production and pioneer in copper and zinc as well as handicraft industries, contributing to the creation of infrastructure and employment both at home and abroad. His work can be summarized as follows. A. Cultural Religious Establishment of the Mosque of the Postgraduate Basic Sciences University Providing equipment to and renovating Beitul Abbas Convent B. Disseminations of Sciences Providing equipment to the library of the Postgraduate Basic Sciences University Providing assistance to the Faculty of Mathematics of this university Providing assistance to the construction of the new Payamanur University building in Zanjan. Providing equipment to the Faculty of Pharmaceuticals of Zanjan. Establishment of Junior School of Mahdiya in Zanjan. Establishment of the Primary School of Alaviya Khatun Kandi. Establishment of a Primary School in the village of Validor and the Lace Torem. C. Health and treatment, affording the payment of over 80 cases of organ transplantation across Iran, providing assistance to equipping the Al Zahra Hospital in Resh, charity and welfare work, activity and work of public benevolence and support of charity institution, employment and creation of jobs in industry and mining as well as in handicrafts area which led to the direct employment of 200 people there orphan guardianship in Zanjan and Ijrut providing support for the blind girls in Tehran support for the Ruzbe document institution in Zanjan among others as a member of the board of directors of the Mehdi Mo'u charity institution Haj Rajabali Muqaddam served the orphans community and charried the boards of trustees of the charity when he passed away in March 2010. Zanjan province has 8 counties, 18 districts and 12 10 villages and 120 10 villages. Zanjan's story dates back to 2000 BC and it possesses an ancient historical background. Since 2021, the edifices possessed by Hajar Rajabali Muqaddam were transferred into a museum displaying very beautiful artworks in his own and his family's position. These artworks are indicative and manifest the Zanjani's long-lasting love for art. The ground floor of the museum showcases artworks, including the embossed copper kitchenware from the Qajar era, different kinds of knives, swords, and so forth. The ancient building of Zanjan's laundry house is situated in locality known as Baba Jamal Chogori or Baba Jamal's pit within the heart of Zanjani's historical texture. The building has been constructed for the Zanjani woman due to the cold winter weather. Ali Akbar Khan Tilfiqi, the then first mayor of Zanjan but its land and the building was then constructed in 1927 with his command. Zolfaqari Edifice Zanjan's ancient works pertinent to three periods, prehistoric, historic and Islamic epochs are kept in Zolfaqari Edifice. In 2010, several Namaki men were transferred to this place and the Archaeology Museum was opened. 
The construction of Zanjan's marketplace was started in 1791 during the regence of Aqa Muhammad Khan Qajar and it was completed in 1799 coinciding with the governance of Fath Ali Shah Qajar. During the later periods, 1966 several buildings and edifices including several incompetents, mosques and public bathroom were added. During Qajar's kingship, a brick laid and very beautiful bridge was constructed on Zanjan Rod River, and it is still robust and working. Zanjan's school and main mosque known as Masjid Sayyid or Masjid Jame Sayyid or Sultani Mosque pertain to the early Qajar era, and they are located in Zanjan. In the south of Sabze Maidan, the main mosque was constructed under the title of Masjid Jam Sayyid by one of Fath Ali Shah Qajar's sons named Abdullah Mirza, who was a follower of Sayyid Ibrahim Mujtahid Sardani. The honorable tomb of Sayyid Ibrahim is positioned inside in Zanjan, an abundant cemetery located on Eastern Mast side of the old city of Zanjan. Overlooked from the city walls, nowadays a high school and a primary school have been constructed in part of the cemetery above and a street named Sadre Jahan has been stretched along an other part. Hosseiniya Azam Mosque is enumerated amongst the most important religious tourism attractions in Iran during the holy month of Muharram. This place is once a century old. Besides Mena, in Mecca, this mosque is the second biggest other in the world of Islam. Shalandar is a village belonging to the central section of Zanjan, county in Zanjan province. The village is situated within a 30 km distance to the northeast of Zanjan province and a 15 km distance from Taham village. Amongst the spectacular tourism fascinations of this village, this tourist tapped house, beautiful waterfalls and the rivers of this village can be pointed out. Sultani Dome and Olajayri's Tomb are in this city, and they have been registered in the list of the world's heritage. The city has a lot of historical buildings attracting many tourists every year. The dome is the biggest vault in terms of construction materials globally, reaching in height to 38.50 meters and a span diameter of 25 points. 50 meters. The dome was constructed in 1304 by the command of Olajaitu or Sultan Muhammad Khudabande for the transferring of the scared body of His Highness Imam Ali. Peace be upon him. The first Imam of Shiites from Najaf to Sultaniyah. The construction took 10 years to complete. The building embeds to decoration periods. The first period of decoration mainly introduces brick and tile. And the decoration, the second period are mostly made of gypsum.
Mullah Hassan Kashi's tomb, or the grave, is a building belonging to the initial Safavi Eras period, and it is situated in the southwestern Sultania. This artwork was registered on the 6th of January 1932 as one of the Iran's national works. This building incorporates the resting place of Hassan Kashi. This historical building belongs to the then times well known the illusion Sheikh Borak Baba, an elder from Milnevi school and an elite in the royal court of Sultan Muhammad Khudabande during the Ilkhani period. Dashkasan Monastery or Dragon Monastery is a rock-made building and the margins of Vyar village within a 15 kilometers distance from the southeast of the historical Sultania city in Zanjan province. The rock-made Dashkasan Monastery belongs to Ilkhani period. There are two reliefs of dragon and several Islamic edita carved there are two reliefs of dragon and several Islamic edita carved symmetrically on two sides of the construction. The Histon Castle or Kohan Dij encompasses several villages like Madabat and a 15 kilometers distance from Mahnishan in Zanjan province and at the side of the Tezel Ozan River. The castle dates back to the Mids period. The castle has been registered under the Qal e Dehistan and the number 1455 in Iran's national artworks list. The construction of supporting walls at the side of the Tezel Ozan River for the protection of the castle is noteworthy and along with such defensive fortresses as Behistan Castle in 12 kilometers distance from Mahnishan. It portrays a pretty and artistic architecture. One of the marvelous natural phenomena in Iran is the Alaqadlar hills or colorful mountains situated on the side of the path from Zanjan to Mahnishan in Zanjan province. These wonders of nature are positioned within a 25 kilometers in the northeast of Tabriz and Mahnishan county. The loftiest point in the series of mountains is Belkis Mount, which is 3300 meters above sea level and stretched for about 70 square kilometers. Katalukhor is a cave, wet and dry, situated in Zanjan province, Khodabandi county, within an 80 km distance from the city of Qaydar, and 230 km distance from Kurdistan province, on the way to Bijar and within 173 km distance from the north of Hamidan and a 411 kilometers from Tehran and a 5 kilometers distance from Garmab. This construction is composed of stories with numerous and magnificent halls, 
including a hall filled with columns and a hall made of crystal stones. This mosque has been constructed in the style of the mosque within the Sreglis and it is somewhat similar to the main mosque in Qarwa. The Adidam of the Sejas main mosque has been beautifully ornamented with arabesque designs and gypsum works. The museum contains 200 items of ancient works from various periods, and they are classified into four parts, namely the historic and prehistoric artworks, Islamic era's artworks, books, stone-made inscriptions and reliefs. In the monastery of Pir Zahnush, there are graves in the vicinity of the museum and two of the city's elders. Named Abu Bakr Muhammad ibn Abdullah Abhari and Sheikh Babauddin Abhari in addition to our master, Qutbuddin known as Pir Ahmad, the poison drinking man or Biretren. Qairi's main mosque is one of the historical buildings in Qairi village within a 15 km distance to the route connecting Abhar to Pakistan. This mosque, known as Master Jome or Master Jome, is amongst the artwork belonging to Seleucid's era, i.e. the 5th Hijrah Cemetery, and like the other belonging to this period, it has been built in the style of the four port mosques. The beautiful dome of this mosque is constructed on first quenches constructions. Arms County is one of the most beautiful and spectacular regions in Iran. Bezal Ozon River in Zanjan plays a significant role in agriculture and the place's climate, for it passes through several provinces and rates in length to about 670 kilometers.